All right, well, looking at the shifter, we have a couple six millimeter torque head or hex head bolts. And I'm not worried about keeping the shifter. I got a new shifter, as I said, so let's get these bolts off. All right, once you get the cover off, there are two more hex allen or hex bolts and get those off and then the shifter should lift off. I really didn't care about the <laughs> about the GTO shifter. So I just I just hammered into it and broke the the plastic all apart. I mean normally I would have gone and I mean I didn't have you know the star pattern uh, wrenches I didn't actually have any of those so and I don't plan on using this GTO shifter again so I'm not worried about it I'm just gonna uh, get it off and uh, toss it into the trash all right let's finish getting off this last one kind of wanting to be right shifters wanting to be right in the way there we go and as you can see the the center housing is you know right here and let me drop this down a little bit I mean center housings right there and this is this much further back I'm not sure if a like a, a 6060 would be a 6060 with a GTO shifter maybe maybe that would work I, I don't know but I'm using the T56 I know the 6060 is a lot stronger but everything I read is shorter so that's why I went with this one and the fact that it came with the car which was not too bad all right This should just lift right out when I get this last bolt off. Okay. There we go. So you got the gasket. This actually, this gasket actually still looks pretty good. Probably clean it down and check it out for any cracks or anything like that, but I mean, probably just end up buying another one. But what I, what I was referring to is this cup here. Um, as you can see, the GTO one is it shifted back more and you can see how much space hard to see it there we go you see how much space is in between these two I'm gonna get a roll pin knock this one out and then put the new one in but let me uh, let me get this one out and then I'll show you a comparison of the GTO one versus the Camaro one again I got my eighth inch roll pin punch stick it right in the hole and try to knock this roll pin out go this is the GTO one let me show you let me go show you the difference all right here you could see quite easily the GTO is much longer that gives it that extra sit back and then the shifter sits back this is the Camaro one and you know being new it's it's nice as well but you know, you need this smaller space. And the part number for this is, let's 
and this is the yeah the offset and the shifter and again one more time see the GTO how much more space is there this will allow for a little clock it'll position it in, in a good spot and then the clock back with the shifter that I'll show you in a second makes it perfect but let's go ahead and punch this in to get the new one on you just you know slide it down in there make sure you line it up with the hole on the rod and then punch it back in not quite as easy not quite as easy as the as the sleigh but let me uh, let me get it in there take a second all right now that we got that punched in we can get our new shifter put it on and get it down well, let's do a little unboxing of the shifter I got I haven't opened this yet I know I'm opening it upside down need to telegraph my address everywhere all right Let's see it comes with okay got the it's the rod some gasket maker this is it's got a bunch I mean it's, it's not it's got a new container of gasket maker it's got the short shift knob yeah else it's got the new bolts and an allen key or hex head whatever it would be all right well, that's kind of cool accessories let's see the shifter itself I mean, this is pretty heavy. Feels pretty good. All right, that's pretty nice. Already clocked at six. Or already clocked six o'clock. That's a really sturdy, really sturdy piece of equipment. Looks pretty good. I gotta get this on the uh, transmission. All right, so I had the old gasket. It's pretty clean. It actually doesn't really have any cracking. There's a couple, has a couple like dimple marks and stuff like that, as you can see here. Um, but that's not actually cracking. So I'm gonna put a little RTV. Uh, I'm not gonna open a new one. I still have some of my old one. So I'm gonna put some RTV on uh, or gasket sealer on both sides, and then put this on and put the shifter on. I'm using the uh, supplied bolts they have. You have a washer and a locking washer. So let me go ahead and get uh, some gasket sealer on that and get it set on the uh, on the transmission. All right, I'll go ahead and put a, a light coat on the top of the gasket. And then once I have it on top of the gasket, I'll put a light seal on top of the transmission and then I'll place it down and put the shifter on. When you go to put the actual shifter in, make sure the knob goes in the hole. Otherwise, it's not gonna shift. All right, and let's get this bolted down and see if it shifts. All right, if you happen to get the same shifter, just to let you know, these are 13 millimeter size. And I can, I can feel it 
wanting to shift in there so I know the ball is in there. All right, well, the transmission is ready to go in. I just need to get the engine with the clutch and stuff like that. So, transmission's ready. All right, guys, I got the transmission ready to go in. Now I gotta work on finishing up the engine, getting the pilot bearing, stuff like that switched. But that's it, uh, then it's ready to go in. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Peace.